Right then. It's not going to be so pretty um, today as I've had it when I... It's pretty in a different way, right? Pretty in a different way. I've come here in spring before now where it's this is green and there's hundreds of dandelions. And the sky is blue and there's cotton wool clouds and blue sky. And uh, so this is different. It's still beautiful. It's just different. And there's a nice little thistle bush all clumped together for protection. Yeah, look. And then if we go over there, we've got the copse where I've seen a deer once. And the field near that copse is where there used to be a table and chairs, a bench, where you could sit and have a picnic with absolute, like I'm going to get in a minute, massive views. Anyway, this is still nice in its own way. As we walk across this field, I think the battery will be needing to be charged in a minute. We might just get across here, and then I'll get the battery charger out. Over there in the distance, right over there we've got Bring Down, might come in in a minute. There's, that's Steep Home. That's Steep Home and Bring Down's there. I'm just going to turn off just in case I lose this footage a minute, in case the battery's low. I'm coming straight back on now. There's Weston over there, the end of the hill fort. Hey, there's Weston, parts of it, the end of the hill fort, World End. All over there, and that used to be the lock in air base where all those fields are, and there's new houses going up now. The Haywood Estate, they call it. There's the hill fort. The sea will be over there in the front of Weston, where I live. Coming to interview in a minute will be Brent Knoll, another reference point. You just skim across the top of the grass there, so little bits of wild cow parsley darted about here, and then the top of Brent Knoll there in the distance. That it'll get bigger in a minute as we move along the field. The plantation over there. 
I haven't been over there much. Um, there's always a lot of cows. I got, um, not chased, but they were on my on my back. Uh, they were following me. They had calves, so I went into a field. I didn't quite realise. These cows sort of hounded me until I got out. Um, so I... And then I had to get into like a field I didn't know where I was going if I was on private land, if there'd be if there could be dogs. So I I tended to even though there is a trig point on a hill over there, there is actually a trig point. It's quite concealed. And there are signs for public footpaths and all that. But it is it's um a conservation area they call this. And, uh, but they do have cows in there, uh, and you just gotta be careful, really. That's called the Hunter's Lodge or Hunter's Farm down there, that behind the trees here. And there's some quite good views of Western Supermare over there. There's the hill fort coming in over there, look. And the houses on the hill with the rich, well, I don't know if they're rich people, they're all bed sits now. Um, no one can afford to run them as one home. They're all rented out. That's what happens now. So we've got there's some beautiful houses. Um, sometimes the landlords will do them up and maintain them all right. Sometimes they just slapdash and they just sort of lick a paint, you know, cover up the damp. And they're not really protected properly, I don't think, some of those buildings. And neither are the tenants. But I'm not going to say any more about that. There we got Brent Knoll, which I was on just over a week ago. I was up there. I can't remember the date. Could have been the... Um, 23rd of July I was up there the 25th of July I was on the Quantox um, then I'd done a couple of short walks in my local woods and things like that and then I went to um, well I'd done Crook's Peak the other day Crook's Peak <sighs> yeah I do a lot of walking it makes me feel better being out here I, I just love it. I can't get enough of it, really. I just love. There's just that scene there. I've got, I've got photographs. I've taken. I've knelt down. I've taken pictures of the um, daisies and the dandelions here. But this is beautiful in a different way. But we haven't got the blue sky and the cotton wool clouds today. But it's still beautiful in its own way. And there's the style. Over and out for now.